Hello, my name is Skyler, and I will be your pilot today. So this flight, obviously, you just saw was from December 27th. This was my last flight of 2018. I've been saving it in the hopes that my wife would find the nicer microphone that I bought her a year or two back, rather than using my gaming headset. But it is what it is. Well, here's my launch site again. As you can see, it's rough, filled with lots of sticks and debris. Uh, when I bought my house, this actually was some 30-year-old forest growth that the paper mill farmed a few years back and then sold off the property. Opened up a view, a beautiful view, actually, at Columbia River, so I can't complain. Um, it was pretty light wind easy takeoff here. Just I had to make sure to get up and uh, away from those trees. Had a, another bailout option. I could go straight, but it probably messed the wing out a little bit. Um, like I said before, though, yeah, obviously it's hilly. It's uh, bumpy. There's all kinds of terrain to get yourself in trouble with here. I practice a lot of uphill, swooping uphill, landings, Nailed the most of them, I think. There's a few that I, I haven't. In fact, this is probably my first touch and go that I did not successfully complete it was in here. And this is why this video has my bloopers, that when I got back from this flight, it was determined, yeah, there had been enough mistakes that this is it right here. Um, so here's a, oh, a nice sweeping pass, actually. That was kind of fun. Um, but you'll come back around and see pretty soon the uh, first fail. This is coming through the little gap near my house, and you can actually see the, uh, the drone my wife is flying right above the tree in front of us right about now. And just, I was flying underneath it. Alright, here's my uphill touch and go. Kind of swoop over the top, peek at the little part of the hill there. It was kind of fun. I don't know if I was heading a little downwind, a little heavy on my brakes, but yeah, obviously the wing died there. And then I was super lazy with setup and had my buddy Ryan set it up for me. And if you can see the stick right there in the lines that I obviously did not see because I was worried more about the wing setup than anything else. So try to take off. Obviously the uh, stick catches in a few of my lines, probably bring my ABCs together and just automatically bring my wind, <laughs> bring my wing down in that direction. So I kind of talked to myself before I was taken off and knew something would be awry just because I was being lazy, but oh well, stuff happens. Decided to completely reset after this. So you get to watch us set up the wing again and appreciate the, the glare that is the Columbia Gorge with the fog and sun right now. Still a beautiful shot in my mind. But by state law, they had to replant um, trees here. But then the next year, a subcontractor bought the land, tore up all the stumps, and then also a lot of the trees that they had planted, which then they had to, they had to spray chemicals prior to planting the trees and get our buy-in for that. And then it's destroyed again. Um, yeah, so a con subcontractor bought it, or a contractor bought it, and they are going to subdivide out the land into uh, probably two and a half, five acre parcels. Hopefully it'll still be flyable, but we'll see. Um, so this is going up east, up the Lewis River. That was the uh, Lewis River golf course there, and this is another shot of it. I went up and down a few of these um, fairways as nobody was playing. The one guy was hitting some practice balls, but I was well away from him, and it's just a big spot to kind of fly. fairway that you see me fly on. It's probably one of my favorite turns that I've performed. I'm just doing some foot drags here along a good portion of this. Coming 
up here is probably my favorite turn I've done so far. It's it's all in between trees and just have to be aware of where my wing is when I'm doing this and that's the biggest risk is not being aware of that and snagging it on a tree. Here, I was going to go upriver a little further to the power lines and then turn back around and come down the river. But I saw a couple bald eagles right there and obviously had to turn away and let them do their thing. Um, so, uh, my other plan was to foot drag a good portion of the river coming down. But right now, the river is really, really high. It was really dark. It was running faster and it was really cold. It just looked like death, to be honest. So I decided not to do that. I kind of went a couple feet above that and then I was just gonna do a foot drag right here on the left because this is some grass that's normally there that's covered, it's shallow, it's, it's an easy spot that I know I can get away with it. And I had to get my foot drag in. So you'll see a log coming up on the left and right before that you may see a line go across the screen of what the fishing line was, or where the fishing line was, and it's right about there. You see me get caught in it, and I immediately turn to jump to emergency landing. Right now, it's still wrapped around my chest, and probably right when I touch down, somewhere right around there, it falls down in a way. Unfortunately, I land on the front edge of my wing, but at least I was able to bring it down somewhat softly. It still drives me crazy. Um, so the first thought when I felt that go across me, the first thought I had was a little cartoon image of me all of a sudden just doing a whoop, you know, face plant straight into the water. The second thought was I hope it breaks. And then a millisecond later it was okay, it didn't break. That hook's gonna come loose and rip across and possibly rip some skin or something. So that's where immediately when I did that big left yank and, and made that turn. This was on a, my 30 meter mojo that doesn't really like to turn that sharp, but it did in this instance. So not a bad spot to land. Couldn't have really set it up better if I wanted to. Um, definitely wouldn't want to go through the situation again. After talking to him, the gentleman that was fishing from his deck down into the water, uh, he said there was two fishing lines. One got wrapped around my feet, and I think of right when I started to turn and, and, and climb and turn, it dropped off. And then the one that was around my waist actually stayed with me. Uh, just approached him like any other situation. Just, hey, it's not his fault. Be calm, collective, be cool. Because being pissed off about this doesn't get you anywhere. And it's no one's fault, really. Well, how are you doing, man? Good. Good. Good holidays? Awesome holidays. Good. You? I'm all right. You gonna be able to take off from here? Yeah. Yeah, I saw you coming. I tried getting that pole tip down. Oh. <laughs> you just got, I think you just got it with your boot. Just one of those days. Hopefully taking off. My wing's a little wet. We'll see. All right, now the test to see if I can actually take off 
from here. Like I mentioned, my wing was a little bit wet. That grass was all wet. It was covered in, in goose, geese, crap. My wing didn't get destroyed by that, but it was wet. Gave it a hard charge. Kind of popped up. I danced back and forth on that. Whatever that stick was there. Didn't want to knock it down and then you know, drove my wing where I needed it. So you'll see my next failure right here as well. If you look at my right riser, the pulley system on my brake, I have it wrapped around there. I don't see this for probably another 10 or 15 minutes into the flight because at this point I decided to take it easy and just practice my weight shift. So this is no controls weight shift back and forth, just getting a feel of it. And it's really a, a good way to see how much weight shift can affect your controls. Not only doing weight shift back and forth, but also stopping it. So this is the Inverus Estate right here. Um, it's a major wedding venue in our area and I was going to do a dive down to try to get a camera view of, of the whole yard and that's when I, I pulled on the right brake and it felt dull I guess it felt I don't know it, just, it, it had a delay to it it felt gummy and I looked up at the wing because I've never had a pull the issue like that I probably would have found it right away otherwise oh here's me doing a my super training, you know, active pilot and super skills, real quick toggles, um, and, the, and then I, I, I was still feeling it that entire time is what I was doing, just like, what the hell, um, then I finally looked low and saw it, and it immediately felt better. Alright, my last failure of the day right here that, you know, sealed the deal as far as including all my 2018 mess ups was this landing landing it was actually really smooth unfortunately I didn't think about my wing and it basically fell on the very edge of the puddle it didn't get my wing very muddy just a tiny bit I was able to wipe it, wipe it off really quick wipe it off really quick but still it was it was a fail in my mind So we get to do the walk of shame home, put the paramotor up, and then hike back down and get the wing because I was a little tired. That was a flight. Whew. bloopers my mistakes throughout the way there's a couple I didn't include because I didn't have them on video um, obviously this one if you just watch the video is when I got caught in the fishing line right about now and had to do an emergency landing to get these if you want to go know more about it go back to the previous part of the video and I talk a little bit more about it This right here it was probably my first reverse in school, and it was really dumb. I gave myself slack like I'm doing a forward launch, and so when I jumped back, I fell on my ass. And I almost had to kept the wing up. And really, here, I think I had three failed launches. Pretty much get up every first go I have nowadays. And it's been that way most of the time, honestly. But this day, 
think I was scared about flying in it. We had decided to go up a little earlier to try to push our, our bump tolerance, and uh, it was also super windy, and we're getting rotor off the mountain. Um, but that's not why I failed here. That was, it was just was completely just pilot air on all three of these temps. Um, the one that you don't see uh, right after this, I get up and I and I take off, and it's basically just an elevator right up. sure to point, laugh, and snicker, because these are good quality fails. All right, here, uh, doing a foot drag downwind at the local high school. Probably my four, the fastest 40 ever. Um, at one point, I seriously considered just doing a belly flop, because I didn't think my legs would keep up anymore. Another frontal. You see me yank on that single brake just to try to bring it down on the edge first and roll it across rather than have it just come slam down and dent the whatever those things are called in the front edge. But it's just my way of trying to protect it and I guess limit the mistake. The takeoff when I turned around was really easy. There was enough wind that it took off in probably under 10 yards. Probably one of my scariest was here. I was looking down at a couple deer, uh, and I had scouted this entire valley on the way up, but obviously got distracted. You can see some power lines right there coming in line. I don't see them yet. I'm looking at other stuff. I'm not paying attention. I see them right now. And then I do a big yank. Um, this was uh, Boyd's 24 meter U Haul. It's her uh, wing, and single point steering. And still, it probably turned a little quicker than my mojo would. And uh, that one left me, you know, being cautious, a, little, a lot more cautious than the rest of that flying. That was at the Lincoln flying. This one's at the uh, Goheen Airport here in Battleground, Oregon. A little deal on the ground, just misjudged it, slid out. Listen for the crack. And that was the fiberglass <laughs> cracking, as you can see here. Beautiful thing about the Scout, overnight fixed. Not a problem. All right, this is probably my hardest landing. In fact, I still have a black toe from it. I uh, was not meaning to land on this pass. I was just going to do a flyby, and then I was like, oh, I'm low. Let's do it. The wind is coming from the right right now, from the south. And I try to land downwind because I think I'm Superman, I guess. I don't know. So I deserve this. Left my wing in the tree, which is probably better than some of the blackberries around. Oh. But there you go. Those are my mistakes, my lessons to learn from. Hope everybody else can learn something from them as well. Here's a picture from my first ever flight. This was at training with Team Fly Halo down in California. Wish everybody the best. Be safe.